The Dozen Trivia Competition presented by the Barstool Sports Store is back with the second battle for the crown. Number one, Team Minahan, down Kirk Minahan temporarily, replacing him with Barstool Sports employee Quiggs, Big Dozen fan. They are looking to keep the crown. 4-1-0 on the season. They took the crown from the Yak, the number one spot in the Dozen, and they're being challenged by number three, Big Screaming Honkers, Coley, Robbie Fox, and Ben Mintz, the defending champions from last season. The winner will have the crown and the number one spot. It's Minahan, it's the Honkers, and it all starts right now. All right, it's the Dozen match. 155 overall, 38 of season two, and the second battle for the crown. Uh, this match brought to you by two things, both barstool related. How about that? So get this always gets a good chuckle out of Coley. Uh, first of all, Barstool Sports Store, massive 20% off sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Keep an eye on that. Won't tell you the time it's gonna start, but keep keep get the eyes going after you eat on Thursday. There's some great stuff. Everyone here has got some great stuff. I'll pump I uh, on that. I brought I busted out my big screaming honker shirt. There you go. Shirt. Gonna be 20% off. We're the champs. We're about 20% to off the, the champion shirt is like, I mean, that that's the right biggest here, there is. Uh also ugly sweaters, tons of stuff, uh, which you're looking at on the screen right now. Make sure to keep an eye out for when that sale goes like you do not want to miss it. You don't want to miss it because the best stuff's gonna sell out. Sure. Uh, and not even just, just holiday stuff. Again, golfer. Tons of golf stuff. I saw they gave they, they they gave our golf guys Trent and Frankie like twelve bags of stuff to start taking promo pictures in. So that Lord only knows what we have dropping. It's uh, nice stuff too. I saw yeah. I saw it. It's really like high quality stuff. High, high quality, twenty percent off. Black Friday, Cyber Monday. What did you say they did to the golf guys? They gave them a bunch of stuff. They dropped off some bags, Rico. All right. Why are you upset about that, Reek? No, it's just good. And now they got the antennas up. Oh, hey, hey, Trent, you know, you're going home for Thanksgiving. You take a nice pie. Tomorrow I bring in some pastries. Maybe I get some Peter Malaws. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, bulletin, bulletin board materials, maybe? I don't know. Uh, also, uh, movierankings.net, the best movie website around. Paid $0 for that ad spot, did movierankings.net. Shout out to them. Uh, here we go. Team Minahan, rank number one, has the crown. They took on the Yak, which had the crown initially. They stole the crown from them, swiped it off their heads. Uh, shout out to Kirk. Hope he is doing well. Kirk Minahan currently uh, on leave. Uh, hope Kirk gets better there. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure he's gonna he's gonna tune in, and have some thoughts on this. He has a replacement. Uh, one of one of the upset. Re- There's a couple people in line. Originally, it was gonna be Riggs. Uh, for those who may not be full through and through Barstool fans, Riggsy, a staple of Barstool, went to Harvard. <laughs> went to Harvard, our golf guy, but uh, he is he's in the midst of traveling. They had some big shoot at there today, so he's not able to fit that in. So he's they decided to go with a similar Quiggs. name. They went with yeah. Quiggs. Quiggs, yeah. The next uh, one. Yeah. Who, who, when I told Hank we had Quiggs, he said he's going to tank in the movie and TV categories. But yeah, that's the thing. I'm good at some stuff. I have some massive holes. All those advisors cutaways, they're like, hey, Quiggs, you know this movie? He's like, no. You know this? Uh, yeah, no. movies are not my special. We should have made Ado- Adobe Suite as part of our niche category. Yes. One of our uh, unbelievable <laughs> editors, graphics people, you are you will learn quickly if you don't know Quiggs. He's also a smart guy, which we don't have many of those people on this show. Like, not like sports smart. Like, like people That's, smart. Yeah, like, I don't even know how good I'm gonna be at this. Like, if we were taking like a SAT, I think I would beat everybody on this panel. I don't <laughs> know about like trivia. Well, this is the <laughs> dumbest trivia show around, so that's maybe not the best combo. But Quig stepping up to the plate. Yeah. Look, Kirk gave his blessing. There's some team men of hand fans who are saying, "How are you gonna do without Kirk?" And if they lose it, guess what? Kirk's gonna be back. They're probably gonna go for the crown again. So just how it is. Maybe they can defend it tonight. They're up against the defending champs. Coley wants all of the trophies. He wants yeah. everything. He's had his eye on the crown since the beginning of the season. You beat Smokin in a great battle, one of our best matches ever. Uh, and now, Thanksgiving week, can't call it Feast Week. I feel like that's probably copyrighted. But Battle for the Crown, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, I, I, I'll be honest. I felt better when it was Riggs. Uh, Quiggs is... 
like fucking a, a NASA astronaut. So I don't, I don't know. He's either, I said it to, in the group text, he's either going to be the best in the tournament immediately, or he's going to stink out loud. I don't think there's going to be any in between with, with Quiggs. Uh, all right, here we go. 12 categories, 24 questions, 25th being the bonus round. Uh, Minahan's either going to stay number one or the big stream and honkers will jump up to number one. Minahan, if you do lose, you just slot down the number two, though we will have a, a new batch of fan vote later on in the week. Uh, we have Thanksgiving battle two later in the week. We have your mom, Rick, number six against uh, number two, Frank and the Frankettes. Yeah, what happened there? I, it was supposed to be a different matchup. What it happened? was. It was going to be the experts in your mom and, and the experts. Uh, I don't know. Tell the experts are one of their players. I'll, I'll let I'll let people figure that out on their own. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's, it's, 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 so I get it. It's, she's, it's she's one of the abandoned. few days where our office is shut down. I do not blame people for for saying, "Hey, Frank had stepped up." Though, we what, and, are you going to film it on Thanksgiving? No, it, it's it's <laughs> uh, it's filmed the Wednesday before. You know, you have to film our it on office is shut down. At Three p.m. Yeah, for you, we're filming. We're going to be taping at three. We got to get Frank the Tank off to the Devils game. He's going to squeeze it in. Uh, so then that match will air in the morning. Congrats to everyone who fucking likes morning matches on Thanksgiving. So before you watch, in the middle of watching the parade, you can. Uh, what I'm time sure everyone is watching? Is what it. time is the Devils game? Because Frank told me he was going to Marquee for cash, cash. <laughs> so is that Devils game early? I helped him pick out a button up. Right, what? Let's start this fucking thing. As always, <laughs> he's going to Marquee. Cash, cash is spinning at Marquee. <laughs> what? Uh, you can double up any category you want, minus round six. Uh, and you have your call a friend, your FaceTime a friend, and of course your uh, your double. That you can answer any question you want twice. Can't use any lifelines paired with a double, and you cannot use a lifeline on round six. We first category second, tonight, right? Team Minahan, you're number one. You're up first of your round. Yes, Rico. We why do we go first if we're up? You're the number one. Seat, they are up. Yeah, but you should be able to call the coin to us. We that's been discussed. That's been yeah, discussed. I, may, only really by me. Mostly by Coley. <laughs> and and, me, and of me to that. We we Sir, defer. No, no, no. We defer. We defer. No, you don't. Because Rigo, you can't defer. You can't make a mid game no, change. No. We need to go first. Yeah, we're playing at City. Pat, who the fuck the side are you on? Rico, Rico only found out that I write the questions like a week ago. I have your best interest. I have our team's best interest in mind. Let's right. not like yeah, fuck I things think there's up. There's decision in the ranks, boys. Category one is NBA. You weren't even at the desk today, Pat. You abandoned me. <laughs> okay, you know what? NBA, 35 seconds on the clock, and I'm not reading the question. This is for Team Minahan. I look forward to your skinny ass next to me. I love it. <laughs> Before now, the 2017 trade deadline, as a push for the playoffs, the Raptors traded for what defensive specialist? A player they once drafted. Hmm. Quiggs? Defensive. Schroeder didn't play for them, right? Who? Dennis Schroeder? No. That sounds yeah. Uh 2017 player they once drafted. Just start naming Raptors players. <sighs> Defensive um, specialist. Uh it's Lowry, Rosen. Rosen. Um 10 seconds. I think those are like the teams with Landry Fields and like Jeremy Lynn. Who was five? I'm gonna go Four. Fred Van Fleet. Other side, 15 did seconds. You, did you know it quicks? My bad. The only nah. player that like even makes a little bit of sense here is PJ Tucker, but I don't think that's right. It wasn't. It, I, I'm just throwing this out there. This wasn't Serge Ibaka, was it? That's too obvious, right? Five, four. You three, go ahead, Cole. Serge Ibaka, final answer. They did trade for him. That is correct, but they did not once own his rights. They owned PJ Tucker's rights. It was PJ Tucker. Damn, I, did, I just knew they traded for Ibaka. I'm sorry. They did. They traded for Ibaka, then Tucker. But again, the distinction there is that. No, I know. I, I remember yeah. fucking the. The Supersonics drafting fucking Ibaka. That was my bed. No, Other yeah. side. Sorry. Before no, the 2018 no. deadline, the Pelicans tried to replace DeMarcus Cousins' production by trading for what? European stretch four. Um, I, 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 it's the guy who played for the Bulls. I, I know this. This is us, right? Yep. Yeah. It's Miritich. Nikola Miritich. Nikola Miritich. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, remember. I'm a Pelicans name. fan. I better know Nikola that. Miritich, final answer. That is yeah, correct. I better know that. <laughs> I don't harass the commission on holiday weeks, but it's interesting to not put in the pregame prep that Ben Mintz is a Pelicans fan. I did forget I mean, that, but then I did remember something late, and there's also some that evens out. So why don't you just add it up? 
right. Okay. Other side. Here we did go. You, did you so miss the poll where I said I do not harass the commission on holiday weeks? <laughs> <laughs> this is for the experts. Right. Can we get our I mean, for the uh, for Team Minahan, who are I guess they are the experts. We all the experts. Team, basically, can we get a category matchup. Oh, okay. You know the drill. When you see the picture go large, it's your. It's your uh, Wait, you ready for this shit? I think I think I have like whatever that does it face blindness. Yeah, it's I, wild. Like, oh, Jesus, well you're really selling yourself here, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh Christ! Oh um, God! You know who that is? That is the guy who was sitting in the uh, barstool party in a chair. Yes, in the sure rain. But Shooter I, I Gavin, and who's the woman? Who are the way. eyes and the woman? Oh, I, I know the woman. I know the woman. If you can get the name. I'm not going to give it to him. I know the name. No, what wait, name? Shooter McGavin's not his real name, right? We can go with Shooter McGavin, <laughs> right, Jeff? No. What? <laughs> yeah, you can answer Shooter McGavin. Um, I don't think he would give – you think Shooter McGavin is that big of a fucking Five. celebrity? That's who it is. Four. I know that's him. Three. All right, don't say anything. That's you don't bullshit. Know. Other side. I don't even think it's shoot. I like. I, I think, think it is Shooter McGavin. McGavin. I thought it was. Yeah, I don't. I don't know his real name, and I. I feel like. Uh, feel like that face is the woman. Is the inside Harvard. Susan Sarandon? What's her name? Yes. Yeah. 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 Maybe Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon. We neither of us know his name, right? Five. <laughs> no. So all right, I'm going to say uh, Willem Dafoe and Susan Sarandon. I think it's Christopher McDonald, but that's not him. That is oh. Colin Firth and Susan Sarandon. Right. Uh, Colin Firth. Colin Firth. Colin Firth. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way he was giving a shooter McGavin. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't laugh happen. it up, Coley. Okay. Uh, Thirty seconds. Current score one to nothing. We need defense. Honkers. Just keep playing defense, boys. Uh, I got the inside. If you got the outside, I mean, I definitely want to have sex with this person. <laughs> Is it, Bob, do you think this guy's dead? Uh, I don't know. I think I might know who you're implying there. Yeah. I thought that was like Chris Martin from Coldplay. Is that Michael Fassbender? I don't hate Fassbender. I know that face. Sometimes like a Do you want to use the rare double dip here, Bob? Need Fassbender is the only one that I have, really. Not the dead. You don't think it's a dead guy? Uh, all right, could be fine. Michael Fassbender and Amanda Seyf Siegfried, right? Seyfried? Oh, I thought there's Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson. Kate. I love I that. All right. Out of time, I think the, I think the inside. Is, no, right. I think the inside is Taylor Swift. No, it's a thousand percent Kate Hudson. Okay. Trying to get the outside. They're right. The outside. I was thinking who I think they were thinking. Paul Walker. But all right, let's go with that. Paul Walker. What do you put it? What do you put a dead guy? Is that not what Paul Walker looks like? Five, he usually puts live guys. Four. Go ahead, Three. Rico. Whatever you think. It, it's uh, fuck. Kate Hudson One. and and Paul Walker. I mean, they said it. It's Kate Hudson and Michael Fassbender. They gave it right Ooh. to you. Uh, oh. That's my. I'm having a tough start. Should Noted. Coley that. didn't. Coley did not say final, but he did run out of time, so I took the last thing he yeah, said we there. Should've, we should have just all that. Damn, I knew that. I do. Up. There are now and then deceased people will make their way into the celebrity mashup. I do want to note that. All right, good to note. Pregame. Wait, so they got a point for that? Did I miss that? No, no, they already got one nickel Miritich point. Uh, no. Uh, he runs here we this go. Quigs. It's Fugazi. Adds points, takes away points. It's like pardon my it's like uh, around the horn. It's it's laissez fast yeah, scoring. Right. No one knows how it works. Yeah, laissez fast scoring. Get ready. No one knows how the game works. works. That I do know. MLB category three. This is for Minahan. One nothing. What two time all star second baseman had this career path from 2002 to 2012? Toronto, Arizona, Dodgers, Minnesota, San Diego, White Sox. 2002 all star second baseman, Toronto. Um, I got nothing. I'm not a baseball guy. No, I can. Vernon Wells played third base. It's not him. Um, no, he didn't. Vernon Wills play the outfield. All right, Coley. <laughs> Coley. Coley, shut your dog up, please. Not let us do our thing. Joan Figgins? Figgins? Joan Figgins? Um, do it. Joan Figgins. Joan Figgins. Final answer? answer? Yeah. Just Sean. Sean Figgins. That's how you'd say that. Um, <laughs> you know. Well, this is a tough one. Uh, it's it's a lot of NL. My only guess is Brian Dozier, but I, I know that's not right. 
I don't have a guess. Uh, Padres to the White Sox. Five, four. Brian Dozier, final answer. Incorrect. That would be Orlando Hudson. Uh. Orlando Hudson. Other side, one nothing. No oh, thanks. What two time All Star second baseman of this career path from 98 to 2013? St. Louis, Philadelphia, Detroit, Philadelphia, Miami. These questions are hard. I can fucking picture them. No, he plays for the Braves. Oh, fuck. Describe his body. Was he hot? He didn't play that long. Five, four, three, <sighs> two, not one. Bad. He's gonna kill me. Other side. Is it Ro- Jimmy Rollins or is it Rollins? Is that no? I think he started with Philly, and I don't see him getting traded ever to Detroit. It's a good idea. He also played shortstop. Uh You're gonna kill me when I see it. Need an answer in five, four, three. David Eckstein. Two. David Eckstein. That is Placido Polanco. Oh Placido man, Polanco. All time name. I was thinking Martin Prado, but I knew that was obviously wrong. All time name. Still one nothing. Movie next category. What's great is he fucking the way he phrases these, it's like you watch this back and people be like, they don't know sports, but it's like Oh, it's way different under the gun. Yeah, I'll defend so I'll tough. defend all competitors. So tough. A lot of people say they'd be really good at this. You get under the gun, it's way different. Yeah, but a regular trivia show is boring. Here we go. Movies. Anyone want to double? No. No. Okay. Pat, no? Mm-hmm. Minahan. This would usually be a double for Team Minahan. All right. The Terminator franchise returned in 2009 with a movie starring Christian Bale and Sam Worthington with what title? What's the title of that movie? Oh, fuck. Quiggs, why did they say you were bad at this? Was that like you're actually I've, bad I've or they were like, fucking he, I've heard oh, Quiggs have seen okay. zero movies ever. Okay, so this is not your thing. I'm picturing it right now, him being like all silver and it's like, he, it looks like he's got like aluminum like poured into him and the fucking thing. Robbie's Terminator, Robbie's got yeah. it at the top of his head. That scumbag, I can see it right now. Franchise. <laughs> Yo, was this the one? Was this the one with the with the with the with the woman? Five like or a Walker or some Four. shit. Don't say it if you don't know. It. We're only down one. Two, one. Other side. Terminator Salvation. Ugh. Final answer. <laughs> that is correct. Two to nothing. Our boy, make it three nothing. Robbie with a big drink of water, then just throws the answer in there. Yeah, Here it is. Smiley head when he leaned back. The Die Hard franchise returned in 2013 with a movie set in Russia starring Bruce Willis and Jai Courtney with what title? 2013 wasn't Live Free or Die Hard. No. That was Justin Long. Correct. Uh, this was the one I didn't see. I oh, can't imagine many people did. <laughs> What is it? We could we could call Clem. He'll know it. Need something, a decision in something in five. Do you, do you want it? I mean, they don't know it, so I'm Three. okay with We I'm know okay it. With passing. We know it. You're Die passing. Hard. So we could pass. Other side. We don't know it. Die, <laughs> what is it? Another day. Yeah, they really believed you. No. <laughs> yeah, Die Harder. Die Another Go ahead. Day. Die Harder. Clearly Die the name harder. of the second one. Die... Die hardest. I mean, my- I just, that was my guess. <laughs> Five, four. Die hard. Do die another the last day. Salvation. Another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a good day to die hard. A good day oh, to die fuck hard. You. What a preposterous movie title. Uh, technology next category. Technology. All right. I, I, I might be able to chip in. <laughs> team team Minahan. <laughs> Down to nothing. Since 2005, all Sony high-definition flat panel LCD televisions in North America have carried this logo and brand name. Something with a V. Bravia, maybe? Could be. Sony Bravia. That rings a bell. Um, Although I have a Sony at my house and it doesn't I think Bravia that's its own it. brand. This is weird. Sony, Sony Bra- I believe Sony Bravia is, t- is uh, computers. Sony. So are you thinking it's Sony, Sony Vizio? No, Vizio's 
Bra- I right, go with the B. Go with Brazia. Go, go with it, Quiggs. Whatever you think. Sony Bravia. Is that your final, Rico? Yeah. That is correct. Two to one on the board. The Bravia. Great job, Quiggs. Good pull. Back when they were TVs cost like twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, other side to make it three to one, but a chance to tie it if Give you us miss. A steal. Give us a steal. Since 2012, Phillips has sold this line of color changing LED lamps and light bulbs that can be controlled wirelessly. I got this. I think I do too. I have them in my apartment. Alexa, turn off office. I have no idea. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff T, you evil motherfucker. All right, Alexa, turn on off. Jeff? <laughs> I have no idea. Do we know anyone that would know this? Since they know Apparently, Jeff Lowe. Know Jeff Lowe would know it. <laughs> <laughs> Need something in five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Smart it's, Hue? Is that, is that what it's called? Say that again, Quiggs. Is it Smart Hue? It's Hue. Phillips Hue. I have Phillips Hue, Hue bulbs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we All right. So we say you. Hugh. Like Grant. Hugh. Hugh, Hugh Grant. Hugh. Now here's where the accent comes into play. Final Rico. And yeah. Has- Hugh. Hugh. Yeah, that's correct. Hugh Alexa, Grant. turn on office. Two Hugh to two. Grant. Yeah. Hugh Grant. That's oh, not going to work. <laughs> I'm just in the dark. All right, Quigsy. Defense. Halfway Man, through. I got that Defense. Too, Rico. A little credit, please. What? Jeff gets attitude with his Alexa. You got to keep oh, it right. Turn on office. All right, Pat. Good job. Thank you. you what crazy. a waste of a that was, What a stupid bit that was. I mean, now we're gonna have the edit. We're got, we're dragging the show on. Not the 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 guy who created created Phillips Hue is watching this right now, going like that. What a bad commercial for our product. By the um, way, Phil, Phillips Hue sucks. I have them, and I haven't been able to get. Oh, them they're they're great. They all they almost always work. That was. I've a been shame. trying to get uh, them to connect to my new phone for a month. Here we go. Niche category time. These were these ruined my day. Um, <laughs> Team Minahan, though you get you gave you gave wacky ones. You gave Saved by the Bell, uh, 2010's ACC tournament, and the principles of flight. As you can guess, the principles of flight was selected. That was <laughs> that's a, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's a stupid decision. I know. So Coley, that's did that. Coley, said this, Coley knew no, this is think... the greatest decision of all time. I will say, I have talked to dozens of pilots, aerospace engineers today. <laughs> Uh, I've talked to so many of them. You're all very helpful, but they didn't all agree on the difficulty of the question, which made it very tough. Still easier than ska music. I still found it easier to write yeah. this question than ska music. Um, I think I might have screwed myself here, though. I, uh, I, I get that like I sucked. Well, myself. what I what I said to Jeff was, you're either gonna know it before he finishes reading the question, or you're gonna have no fucking clue because it's gonna yeah. be so hard. It's I just want it. I want it on the record. Though. Coley's a sissy for not. Sacking up and doing Saved by the Bell. Yeah, that's that's what I'm. A, I, we've got a fucking math <laughs> engineer here. I gave him uh, properties of flight, and I'm the. Coward. We gave him rocket science. <laughs> I'm rocket a scientist. Like that's like it is. Two ever. points. He worked at NASA. Yeah, but I haven't done it. I suck. He's what location does the center of mass need to be ahead of to induce the stable flight of an aircraft? Okay, I think it's a neutral point. Fuck. Um, <laughs> wow! Wow! has got it right away. I think. I'm worried about it's exactly um, what I was worried about. Let me think if there's anything else it could be. I mean, that's it. I mean, as a I pilot, so. I know. Um, center of mass. Unless it's center of gravity, which I think can be different than center of mass, but five. Let's go neutral point. Neutral point. Final answer. I shouldn't. That's correct. Four to two. God, motherfuckers. Wait a minute. I like how. So. I like how he he gave like a TV answer and Pat was like, I don't know about that, but then he gave like this. He's like, that's it. It's got to be it. Other side. You offered up. 2010's NBA draft lottery, Oasis, and poker. Which I don't know if we'll ever have poker selected. Actually, if you guys play the fellas, Nate will probably pick it. Uh. But they selected 2010's NBA draft lottery, which that means lottery picks. So the top 14 picks in the NBA draft. That's I'm just easier to write it short like that. Here's your question to make it four to four. This player out of the league since 2017 is the only player in the top 10 of the 2012 draft to not play as recently as 2020. Only one guy has not been in the league recently.
I think you're wording this uh, to get me off the scent of <laughs> Cleveland Cavs legend Anthony Bennett. Would be a Jeff D'Lo thing. He loves his calves. Yeah. Um, so that's my final answer. Anthony Bennett. Other side. Yeah, he was like 2013. Uh, Quiggs, anything? Why? Yeah. So Not really. Anthony not. Bennett is kind of who I was thinking. I'm trying to think of other names. This player out of the league since 2017. In 2017 is the only player in the top 10. All right. So 2012. Oh, my bad. My bad. Um, is it five, a European guy, maybe? Four. Jim, three. Uh, Two. Jimmer for debt. That would be Thomas Robinson. Thomas Robinson went to the Kings. Can I? Uh, I mean, I feel like I almost. Uh, well, you did clarify the year, but I. Anthony Bennett was for sure not playing in 2020. He was drafted in 2014, the summer LeBron returned. No, I get that. Oh, no, uh, you're saying the year the before 2013. Player. He was drafted in 2013. No, I get that, but he wasn't a top 10 player. In 2012. Yeah, it's no, 2012. I get, it. I get it. No, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, 2012 was uh, – the Cavs drafted Deion Waiters in 2012. Just nailing picks left and right. Time to make the donuts. Bonus round time. Sports coaches is the theme. All Jesus lifelines Christ. available, by the way. This is a list for 2021. I want to note that. List for 2021 comes from Sportico. Team Minahan, you're up first. Rico, 10 seconds right. each time. Coley, 10 seconds each time for your side. Could be a four-point game or a tie game. Right. In the top 25 highest-paid coaches in USA sports leagues and colleges. Oh, God. College football, basketball, and the big four sports. We go first? Yeah. Yep, you're up Let's now. Let's do fucking Nick Saban. All right, take that. There? Take yeah. that. Nick Saban. All right. I mean, it just came out the other day that Belichick – it was reported. Are you going to take that? Or is this what Sportico says? Sportico. Is that your answer? I mean, Belichick can be an answer. He's a coach. I understand that. But Bill Belichick. Yeah, I mean, it was literally their report. <laughs> okay. okay, let's I do fucking, their report. Guys, <laughs> let's do fucking Phil Jackson, right? He's not coaching. Hasn't coached oh, in a it's, couple oh, it's Isn't, isn't oh. Harbaugh up there for college coaches? Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh. Full, I need – there's, there's multiple Harbaugh's. In the Jim. Harbaugh. I got this for sure. Urban Meyer with Jacksonville got heaps, Coley. For sure. Urban Meyer. Uh, Mike Krzyzewski. Final? Yeah. yeah. I got another one, Coley. Let's... Sean Payton makes freaking heaps, too. He's one of the highest in the NFL for we sure. We got uh, Sean Payton making heaps, Jeff. Final answer. <laughs> Can we slow down here before we say something? Yeah, you're right. It's it's you need this. Relax. Who is well, you who is a coach time. who is a, of a very Five. popular team here? What do we think? Three. Maybe's coach. Uh, Two. Who? One. Three. Rico. Boone. Aaron what? Boone. Aaron Boone. Aaron Boone. <laughs> four to four. <laughs> a Boone. <laughs> <laughs> he got fired. Fuck. It's true. He is. The rest Give the it list. to us, Jeff. Pete Carroll, I Sean Payton. Matt Rule's got to be on there, right? Matt Rule is on there. Nice Andy Reid, Pop. I will I say, know, I was not just myself just during that bonus round. Once you think <laughs> Phil Jackson. It wasn't clearly stated. It wasn't clearly stated. He literally <laughs> said beforehand, <laughs> it's 2021. Right, well, you know what? what? Easy one. There's a ton of easy ones. All right, we suck at bonus no, rounds All anyway. right, okay, that's yeah. fine. It's tied up. It's 0-0. Zero, yeah. zero. Let's move on. <laughs> hey, hey, what did I say? Tie game at halftime. We're playing now. Well, now you show stuff. You're going to put some tape out there, Rico. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. College basketball, next category. Right. Do you, I? I will ask. This is typically. I okay. imagine many will assume that we're back to back college basketball, college football. Everyone knows it's about to happen. It's all good. Do you want a double? Uh, no, I don't. I don't want a double. Okay. Jeff's man. A year after being on the all Final Four team, this forward was on the Naismith watch list in like Wichita State to a regular season before being drafted by the Knicks. <laughs> so Who is? Uh, Longer. Ron Baker, final answer. Yep. That is incorrect. No. Other side. Fuck. It's, oh, fuck. 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 It's who, the other guy. That's Won't a forward from the Knicks. That went to Wichita State. Is he sis? Fuck. Five. 
four. I mean, which three. Top, it's like barely a school. I don't Jeremy know. Lin. Jeremy Lin. Rico, it's what is Anthony it? Anthony Early. Oh, in the fucking Anthony ass. Early. My quicks, were you going to say Ron Baker too? Yeah. Nevada, they uh, got robbed at a strip club, Jeff. All right, I, I've evened <laughs> out. It's not. I. This is not an offense to Mincy's Pelicans fandom, but I did not think about Mincy being a Pelicans fan for some well, reason. They, in, in your defense, it's hard to be a fan. <laughs> of, currently. of the things you flaunt around the office, you don't typically have. You're not like the biggest Pels guy, so I didn't. Yeah. Ron Baker. Was all right, so we got a next question. Start, you know, it doesn't help the cause. I know everyone's worried. Will Jeff Lowe sleep at night? A next question, pal. I can officially sleep at night. Other Please side, Fuck four me. to four. Fuck, I should have doubled. Anthony Early, remember, he was well, Sucked. not anymore. They also really drafted really Ron Baker. <laughs> this junior forward, this junior forward's huge postseason helped UConn win the 2014 title, put him on the All Final Four team, and then declared for the draft where he was drafted by the Raptors. What year? 2014 title, put him on the all final four team and declared for the draft where he was taken by the Raptors. Is he Junior still on phone. the Raptors? Co- what, Pat, not your question. Hold on. I, I can't believe I, 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 can't believe I don't know that. Like, I, I know this and don't. I'm so mad at myself right now. Need something, Coley, in. God, five. I can't believe I can't remember Four. this. I'm sorry, Coley. I'm Three. Down. Two. Ryan Boat, right? Other side. You know it, Rico? Uh, I know that the Lamb, That's... Jeremy Lamb played for them, I think, in 11. I always mix them up. No, Kemba would have been. Kemba was before Lamb, I think. But it's a big man. That yeah, like Ori- Oriaki, I feel like. What the fuck is his first name? Five. Go with it. Oriaki. Is it like Muhammad Oriaki? I'm not going to ask you to clarify his full name because it isn't the answer. It'd be Alex Oriaki. This is DeAndre Daniels. DeAndre uh, Daniels. Okay, I didn't remember that. Final that four. No idea. Never no idea. That. Never four to four. four. I remember that. It's a football. Football. Anthony Early was a layup, too. Fuck College me. football. Do we want a double, Mincy? How confident you feel? I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. Double. Okay, this is doubled up for the honkers. First lifeline used so far. This question is for Minahan, though. We get graphics on this one? We ha- the big This Big 12 running back is the only player from the 90s, 1995 to 1998, in the top 10 for career all-purpose yards. Okay, it's before my time a little bit. Um, so, the, I think all-purpose yards is big. Yeah, I have one idea. What do you got? How go through go through what you have before I I, mean, I don't really have a ton. I'm trying to Rico, think. if you if you got a name, all right, just so throw it out. I think I think with the returns, it's Darren Sproles. I like that a lot. Where where did he play? Kansas Five. State for Bill Snyder. Four. Let it rock. Darren four. Sproles, final answer. He was over four, K State. I I I guys, I think I know this, Coley. I think it's Troy Davis from Iowa State. Final answer. Wow. It is somebody who did not need kick or punt return yards. It is Heisman Trophy winner Ricky Williams. Well, oh, wow. that seems oh, wow. obvious in hindsight. <laughs> we have all of our lifelines, correct? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I did. I thought Jeff never asked obvious questions, so I, I'm That's sorry. That's a tough one. Other side for two points. This Big Ten player is the only player from the 1990s. 98, 2001, and the top 10 for career rush, rush yards by a quarterback. I think this is Antoine Randall L. of Indiana. That's my first instinct. Was he playing that late? Yeah, I guess he was. That's my first, that's my, that's what my instinct is going off as, Coley. I, 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 I'll I, try to think through past that, but that's my, that's the name that pops in my head first, whatever that means. Let me think, I'll think it through, though. 10, 15 seconds. Michigan State, not the North. I feel like that's got to be right. I mean, if it's not, that's my that's eight gigs. That let's go. That's my Randall L. Final answer, Jeff. It is six to four. Double good. Let's go, Mincy. Good work. Would it be good? Music, (laughs) music. This is four T. Minahan. 
Released in 2012, what band dropped the hit Ho Hey, which reached the top 15 on the U.S. Billboard charts in 2013? I think I have a guess. Do you guys have anything? Is it, how confident do you feel in your guess? I, I got one. Confident. I don't want to say it. To yeah, I got one guess. But I don't right. think that's the song. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Lumineers. That's exactly what I was going to think. Go you for it. Anything, you have anything else, Pat? Nope. Go that's for it. That's literally exactly what I was going to say. All right. Lumineers, final that. answer. That is correct. Like, Six to five. Big one. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Other side to get that two-point lead back. <clears throat> Released in 2014, what band dropped the hit Shut Up and Dance, which reached the top ten. Sorry. On the U.S. Billboard charts in 2015. Why it made me laugh? Is Rihanna on this song? God, let shut up and uh, drive. Uh, uh, uh. She's not a band. Yeah, I know. That's why I was confused. That's the song I was thinking of. Is this like uh, a Fallout Boy or something like that? I don't think so. I don't think it's Fallout Boy. What's the other be? band with the fucking like exclamation point? That's Panic like Disco. Yeah. Could this be that? It could be Maroon Five. I'm trying to think of bands that were. 2015, like bands. You need an answer in five, four. We're, we're going to go panic at the disco. <laughs> Other side. Go Maroon 5. I don't know anything no, else. It's, it. I know it's, the song. It's Yeah, everybody knows the song. Wait, hold on. Sing it. Don't you dare, dare, dare. Look back. Just keep your, you keep eyes, your eyes on me. On me. Oh, I said, you're holding dance, back. Dance, she said, shut up. Dance, 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 dance with me. Oh, it's like Mumford. No, it's not Mumford. No. <laughs> One. Wow. Walk the moon. Walk oh, the yeah. moon. That's fine. I didn't know. Okay, I was losing that. Six to five. All lifelines remain for yeah, Minahan. You have your you. double dip in your call of friend, Honkers. Right. Snacks and candy. Three categories left. Snacks and candy. This is four minute hand to tie it up. Hold on one second. Pat, you got to figure there's one more sports and then like geography or something weird. How do you guys feel? You See, I, I'm cool. You want to double here? I'm cool with doubling this. This is a very like steel. Yeah, it's the, it's the best I one. Fucking miss it and give that. All to right. It. So you I, know what? listen, let's, you said you wanted to go for it in the beginning of the all game right. when we started. Let's, let's do it. Let's just double. It. Yeah, we're I playing with all. Double it. On this. Double it. You're, they're doubling. This is for two points. Jeff's got some wacky smirk on his face. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't like I've it been, I, this, I've been wanting to use this like question fucking... for months. He's got his weight. Oh, oh great. Oh, great. great. The Nabisco's logo on the corner of the box, this brand of saltine crackers, is the most popular at stores and online. What is the name of their saltine oh. brand, Nabisco? Fuck. Nabisco saltines. I've, I haven't bought saltines since I was sick in, like, 97. But I know the fucking thing. It's got a blue fucking logo. You're about, those are regular saltines have a blue logo. What is Nabisco's logo on the corner of this box? Nabisco's is logo that not it? This box. Ten seconds. Brand of saltine crackers. That is. I mean, it's just saltines. Is just the most. <laughs> you want to um, call? You want to call Clem? You doubled. You can we? Friend. No, you doubled five. Oh. Four. Um, Rico, three. I don't know. I don't even. Give have me any anything, Pat. No. Other side, two point steal. If it's the blue box, which I'm pretty sure is Nabisco, it's just saltine. It says premium saltines mm-hmm. on the box. Is that Ritz? A Ritz premium saltines? I need something no, in. No, no, no. On the blue box, talk about. that's what it says. I'm going saltines, Jeff. Final answer. It's premium. That's the answer. Oh, oh, yeah. oh that's so huge. That's a win it's for the us. Blue, Jeff, nah, it's the blue it's logo, right? It's I'm regular sorry, saltines oh. with the premium yeah, the on it. I didn't understand, oh, I didn't understand so what brutal. you were saying, Bob. I thought you were saying something. I thought you were describing them. A classic Jeff D. Lowe switch. Brutal. There's Fuck. no switch there. That's, it's, yeah, that's, not, it's, not, that, it's not tricky. Yeah, that's just what it is. Uh, other side to make it seven to five. Two-point lead. This is not in the game at all. They miss. can be a tie. With Pepperidge Farms logo on the packaging, this brand of rolled cream-filled wafer cookies is the most popular at stores and online. Is this uh, Milano? Ooh. Is that what a rolled rolled cream cookie is? It's a wafer. It's for sure a wafer. Oh, I like it. I like Milano's. <laughs> Milano's are great. Orange yeah. Milano's are the best. <laughs> they are Pepperidge Farm. 
If it is, it feels too easy. Oh, fuck. Five, <laughs> four, three, two. Milano's final answer. No, so it's like oh, it's, I just got it. it's like that rolly, like it looks like a cigar. That's yeah, it's like a straw type thing. Yeah, I don't know what they're called though. Pepper's think about farm, it, Quigs. Rolly, they got, I, I got they got city names like Nantucket and shit. Like think, oh um, god, anything I, at all. Five. Talk out loud. Four. Three. Two. Montauks. Oh. It's not it. No, it's totally that right. is one of theirs. They are pirouettes. Pirouettes. Yeah, that's wow. tough. That's a tough. That's Fucking a tough answer. It. You know the packaging, though. You know what I'm yeah. talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. I know what that means. I said it. Sorry. Right. Two rounds left. I gotta Both be honest. Doubles. You said that, Coley. Yeah, I just said. Both it. doubles Before gone. You. you got your phone a friend and your double dip. Both teams. Reminder on that. You can use those in the same question. By the way, you're allowed right. to. So. What's the category? NFL. All right, we gotta this is for this. Team Minahan, down six to five. <sighs> After over 20 years with Jeff Fisher, this head coach bridged the gap between Fisher and Ken Wisenhunt for the Titans from 2011 to 2013. 35 seconds, and you have two lifelines. You both do. Who would know this on a lifeline? Because we don't know it. Let's be honest. I got, know- two, I got two phones. Who? Slim Cooper is a Titans fan or uh-huh. Stephen Shea. Would, would Stephen, Stephen Shea would know, and he would give us that answer <laughs> if you called him? He's the worst. Che will pick friend. up. He's bad. Will, Rico, will right. Rico, 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 will Che pick up if you call him? He's one of the worst phone of friends in the world. Cooper. Okay. Rico, call who, if you don't know it, call who you need to call because we got to make a move here. I'm calling Slim Cooper. We should have called fucking Will Compton. Oh, I have his number. Yo, what's up, Slim? What's going on, kid? <laughs> Nothing. You're live on trivia right now. All right. After twenty, all right. After twenty, noted Titans fan. After twenty years with Jeff Fisher, this head coach bridged the gap between Fisher and Ken Wisenhunt for the Titans from twenty eleven to twenty thirteen. So it was when you were like finishing college. I know. What does he look like? I, I, I mean, I'm asking you. I need a hint. I can't remember. Uh, what do you think he looked? What? Nobody knows. No, we didn't know. That's why we called you. You're a Titans fan. I know, but 2011, 2013. That's like five. Right out of college. At all. Anything, Anything at all. Three. Two. One. Got to hang up. Got to hang up. He's got nothing. Not the biggest. Oh. <laughs> not the biggest Titans fan in the world. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! I love him saying, "None of you guys know." <laughs> yeah, we called you. Are you asking me? Compton. I should have called Will Compton. Oh man! How did we um, not call Will Compton? I, 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 I don't think, think you would have had his number. No, I mean, Compton, his number. Didn't, Compton wasn't on the diet. I mean, that's not like a, a guarantee. Like eighth grade. Though. All right, you need to tell me something in five, four. Three, two, one. Come to I I know that I'm 98 percent sure this is Mike Munchak. Final answer. Ugh. That is Mike Munchak. That is correct. <laughs> Seven to five. I still can't believe I missed Ricky Williams. If we lose, I'm gonna never forgive myself. So we gotta redeem myself. Uh, here we go. Shea you get this, the either. game is over. He would have known. You think he would have? He would. I doubt it. He didn't pay what After serving in the interim role, this head coach from the 20, 2000, from 2008 to 2010 bridged the gap for the Raiders between Lane Kiffin and Hugh Jackson. I think I know this. Coley, I think this is Jack Del Rio. But he we can talk it out. I'm not 100%. There. He for sure coached out there. Yeah, he was. remember he was the Jaguars forever, and then he was like the Raiders for – a couple years, I think. It wasn't. But uh, maybe that was later. It wasn't the Nebraska coach, right? Oh, could it be Tom Cable? Was this the Tom Cable era before we went to Seattle? Is this I Tom know, Cable? Well, it's our question, so let's double dip. We have a double dip, yeah. yeah. Well, let's double All right, dip. Let's double dip, Tom Cable and Del Rio. Those are our double dips, Jeff. What's your first one? Tom Cable. <laughs> they have won the game and the crown yeah. back. That was the first time. Tom Cable. That's, that's, why we, that's sad why we performance. Defending champions have the crown. Uh, just ripped through these last TV. Lauren Graham has been the lead in two long-running network TV dramas, Gilmore Girls, with NBC show from 2010 to 2015 for Team uh, It was Weeds, but uh, no, Lauren Graham. 
Is that the mom in Gilmore Girls? Two, two completely different people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's the one. Fuck, fuck me, Santa. Fuck me, Santa. Ah. Uh, yeah, bad Santa. It's accurate. Fuck me, Santa. Uh, <laughs> Please stop saying that. Please fuck me, Santa. Santa. What is the answer? Uh, I have no idea. NBC show. This fall on NBC. Do you know it? Mean Santa. Me? I don't. I don't yeah, you know it. it? I have no idea. Jo- fucking Joey. Final answer. Not parenthood. Nine to five. And then to make it ten to five, final. America Ferreira has been the lead in two long-running network TV comedies, Ugly Betty and What Show, from 2015 to 2021. Um, Ugly Betty. <laughs> she oh, it's, uh, it's Superstore. Final answer. Okay. Ended up being a blowout. Ten to five final score. Oh, the Hawkers God. are the number second one half team. team like I said, we're the second half team. Yeah. We should have called uh, Will Compton on that. That would have. I forgot I had his it. number. I, I forgot. I don't also, know in no fairness, he would have known that. I he never. Like, he graduated in 2011 because the exact <laughs> same age as me. And if you're in 2011, if you're going into the NFL, you know who the coaches are. But regardless, <laughs> what, a, what a ridiculous assumption that is. It's true. <laughs> That's a crazy assumption. Maybe he did know. I don't know. Quigs. Solid job from your behalf, filling in. You scored like five or six points, I think, I or do. five points. That, yeah, I awesome. sucked. Dude, we both, I sucked. <laughs> yeah, I was not. I was. Yeah. I always suck, but I sucked. I mean, we we left that. like five points on the board. I, yeah, we did. We not sort of getting next, We should have listened to their celebrity thing. I I yeah, that was true. The celebrity matchup was tough. Yeah, Paul Walker was probably a dumb guess. Clay Anthony Early was tough. That was tough. I I Williams also was unbelievable that I missed that. Like literally, if we'd have lost and I'd have missed that Ricky Williams, I wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight. Ron Only Baker one time, so given a there though too. I've I've, I've given I've given somebody a, a question of their team one time. I gave Nick Nick a Pirates question, but I don't you often gave Kevin Smith Nick the old Miss running back co- that Kevin Smith question. Yeah, but I can't count that. That was I didn't know you like went to middle school with Kevin Smith. So that <laughs> I was all pro. <laughs> Jeff, I was I was locked and loaded on college football to just say Chris Gamble. Yeah, I I did tweet about Chris, but see, I actually th- I was gonna do it, but Quiggs, Carolina guy. I'm a huge Chris. I Gamble. thought about that one. Yeah, but if you had given us the question, it would have been for the steal. That would have been fair. Ah, enough about me. I fucked up. <laughs> it is what it is. We evened it out. Anyway, ten to five, Honkers, you run away with it. T Minahan, you're gonna be ranked number two, I imagine, or you're you're two now. You'll probably still remain top six, but I think once Kirk back, doesn't matter. I'm, Bravo to Quiggs, though. Yeah, Quiggs a good locker room guy. Quiggs, Quiggs thank you. Guy. You Real did good. fantastic. You nailed the flight question. Yep. That was big. Get Friday, Black Friday, 20% off. Champ, right, shirt, you. number one ranked, big screen and hawkers. Don't be afraid. Quiggs counted for four of the five points. Congrats to Quiggs. Um, Anthony early sucked. <laughs> here we go. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, 20% off Barstool Sports Store. Make sure you go there. Buy stuff. Uh... Yeah, support us or they'll they'll shut our show down. That's not true, but it, it makes that puts pressure on you. Uh, the Honkers are ranked number one. Uh, who will challenge them? Brandon Walker can't. They're not in the top six. <laughs> what Match later in the week, 10 a.m. Thanksgiving. <laughs> if you're watching in order and you this is not after Thanksgiving, this is before Thanksgiving, tune in 10 a.m. on Thanksgiving morning. Get your friends and family around. We'll try to keep it uh, not super rated R. I don't know. Uh, Frank the Tank, Nick KB, number two. Frank and the Frank Cats against number six, your mom, KFC, Rudy, and Jack McCarthy. Thank you for watching. The Big Streaming Honkers are back. Number